Well, this is my kitchen here, making some banana bread to take to the trap line. We'll freeze it tonight and we leave tomorrow morning. This light on. So I have everything uh, mixed up in this one bowl, and now it's called blender banana bread. But uh, I mix it all up in here, even if it wasn't called bled, blender banana bread. But it's a uh, it's a great recipe, and we've used it many times. So this is what I'll do: is I'll make a. Sometimes I'll make a meal for the trap line, whether it be a stew or something, and freeze it, or some banana bread, whatever. I got some uh, crappy bananas. I seen them at the store, so I said, "Ah, what the hell? I'll make some banana bread tonight." I'm about to put the uh, oven on, but I wanted to share with you a few things. Uh, I'm going tomorrow's Friday, so I'll be gone probably four days. I'm guessing to the trap line, which I always do. I might come back early and save that extra day because Dave from Trapping World, you guys all know him, is coming here next week. But Dave's coming up here to help me cut trail. And of course, to see the country, I just don't want him uh, cutting trail with me. I know he, he would love it, it doesn't matter, he just likes being in the bush, but I also want to maybe take him to some of the big open areas where there might be caribou. We can't caribou hunt or help me caribou hunt, but if we run into some, and I, some I can get one and um, bring it back to the cabin. We can have a fresh meal of caribou. But uh, we'll take a little ride there and do a few other things when he's around, and we'll just see where it goes from there. But I'm going to get back to my banana bread. And I'm about to put my oven on, I believe 350, yep. Well, first trap we got a Martin. That's nice. And it's a nice day out, sunny. A little bit cool, not too bad though. The wind's up, but it could be a lot worse. And as you can see, oh, well, hard to tell I guess. A wolf was coming down the trail and I said, well, if I have a Martin, he's going to be gone. But he didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. And I don't have a spare trap or anything. So I'll fix that uh, on the way home. We're only going to be a couple nights because i got to get back. I'm going to save an extra day for when Dave comes out. Yeah, freaking wolf is all over the place here. So maybe he went towards the cabin and hit my snare. But look at this. I put this board on a couple days ago. Thinking it should stop the snow from getting in my sleigh and... Voila! Not a freaking thing in there. Nice. So that's working real well. And like I said, it's a beautiful day. A little bit windy, but not too bad. We're just at a 330 box here. Got another catch. Got a nice red fox. So I caught him perfectly. I like the other one, I caught him in the two front paws there, and uh, that's never good, but those things happen. But uh, this one, got him right around the back of the ears there, perfect kill. And we didn't do too much struggling over there. And like I said, I'll be pulling the 330 boxes. Some of the Martin boxes will stay, not all of them, but uh, on the way home, there's a couple I want to move around, but I'll maybe do that tomorrow. The wolf, it was hard to say if the wolf came before or after the fox, so I couldn't tell you. Well, if he did come, obviously he didn't eat it, so it's hard to say. Okay, let's carry on. Well, as you can hear, the fire is going. You can see it's pretty chilly in the cabin. I got CBC playing, the news is on, and it's exactly 12 o'clock. So I made it here in exactly two and a half hours. Actually, I've been here for about 20 minutes, so I made it in a really good time. I emptied the sleigh, the water's in. A uh, package from a subscriber. And everything else that has to come in, which is not much. Not much this trip. So I got a package from a subscriber. I'm open it now. Wipe the already in here. I know we've got a couple things in here. Little smelly candles. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Marcus, I do believe. Yeah, Marcus. I want to thank you for that. And he didn't just send that. He sent two of them. <laughs> wow. I know he told me.
me not to make a big deal out of it, so <laughs> I'm not going to. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's pretty cool of you. And let's see how they work. Holy smokes, a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I had one of these some, some time ago, Marcus, but uh, it actually went dead on me. Well, let's see. Remember I said it, I think I was gonna I think I was gonna pick up two so I could have one going this way or towards the bathroom. And uh one at the windows there. So let's see how they work. Very cool. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised when he sent me a message. Send me your address. I'm gonna give you something. is good on these. <laughs> but I just noticed something. I'll actually just slide out of there. I thought they were being held in on the top. Holy smokes already working. Look at that. Very cool. Thank you Marcus. Like I said I'm not making a big deal out of it. He told me not to. <laughs> He's like, whatever, just enjoy, and I will. Thank you so much. I have one fan facing over there now, and of course one will always be facing towards the windows all the time. So I hope it keeps it thawed. If not, I can uh, put the big fan on and uh, like when the generator's on, and then I can put these on for the evening and make sure the heat's always moving around. We'll see. See how it works. But that's what that fan's for because it was, uh, the windows were uh, steaming up all the time. But I don't think they're going to anymore. I think it was because of all that uh, wet wood I was bringing in and it was sitting there and thawing and there was a lot of moisture in there. I think that's what it was. So we should be fine with these two fans. <laughs> Pretty freaking awesome, man. So I'm just uh, melting the ice in my kettle. Once that's uh, steaming a little bit, I am going to blast and check the martin traps in the back. We'll come along to the river and check the 330s, but we're all, we will only take the boggin so I can pick up the 330s. Well, we have a nice looking martin on, what is this, the fourth box, I do believe. We had a martin on the second box, but something ate it. There was only a little bit of fur left. And I just pulled up here and I seen a squirrel. I don't see his tracks around the martin or going into the box so uh, I don't know what he was up to or he just got here I guess but I don't see any of his tracks right now it was up here I don't see him well we got a nice looking Martin over there and you can see how much it snowed he can't even see my trail in here and I got no snowshoes <laughs> I was thinking, you know what, I should have grabbed the snowshoes, you never know. And I said, ah, screw it. Oh, I did work. Found a few nails in. I'll take the whole box with me. Whew, that's deep. Would have three Martin, but something ate one. Oh well. Okay, let's go back to the cabin. We have a few Martin boxes out still. We'll check them with Dave. Next trip, or probably around, actually in the middle of a uh, middle of our trip. I'm in eco mode, just putting along. so wicked in the snow. I keep testing it in different areas and I'm always surprised. That was a nice little ride. Need some tea. And I'll have to cover my machine. Don't think it's going to snow tonight but we'll cover it anyway. Never know. 
full moon tonight. It's a beautiful night. I was moving some snow out there. Generator's going. Charging a few things. Only the main camera because uh, I haven't bought any spare batteries for it yet. And they're not cheap. 250 bucks for that camera. But I'll pick up uh, a couple very soon. Generator conked out once, so I don't know what's going on there. So I just cut up some cheese. I'll wait for my toast. I have some um, chicken noodle soup. I'm too hungry to. Uh, Some burgers or anything right now. I'm gonna have the soup in it. Oh, there we go again. So, there we go again. That's what I've been doing. I went out there, I couldn't start it, so I brought it in, but I can't um, do much right now. My food was ready. I started to light the lantern. And have a little more soup. Just too hungry. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. And then I will tackle this thing. I'll always have them. Well, the spark plug is filthy. Carbon right up. So let's hope this does it. Now I'll spin this around. I'm gonna get my teacup out of here and a few other things. And I will see the spark rester how I can clean it. Never done before. Let's see. Anyway, I got the spark arrestor off, and it's pretty freaking dirty. So I'm gonna go bang it out right now and see how clean it comes. But I gotta put some mitts on because it's pretty freaking hot. Yeah, I really can't clean it. I've tried. So I'm going to have to soak it in something, but for now I'll keep it off. I mean, we're not going to have any problems here. <laughs> it just, obviously it's going into the snow, so. Okay, I think I've done everything. Let's give it a shot and see uh, if it runs any better. Well, I went out there, fired it up. Huge difference, obviously. The freaking thing was coughing and spitting on that dirty plug and couldn't exhaust anything with the dirty spark arrestor and so I'm to blame for that. Uh, I didn't do any maintenance on it. A little bit but I didn't check that and I didn't check the plug because I changed the oil and everything else and I figured out ah, the plug's good and I fired it back up I just changed the oil. So that's uh, my fault. I just finished cleaning my rug off. A little bit of dirt on there. And the new bar is on. Should be good. Ready to go for with me and Dave. Well, as you can see, it's pretty bright out there. Nice full moon. It'd be even brighter if uh, some of that cloud moved on. There's a thin layer of cloud, but it sure is uh, nice out. Wind's up a little, but nothing crazy. And if uh, it stays this, stays like this till tomorrow, then it's not going to be too bad because we'll be against the trees and it's not even going to bother us. But hopefully we'll be back uh, before lunch and 
and uh, maybe uh, heading over to the wood site and getting a few loads of wood. We'll see how that goes. Well, good morning. I didn't even make the fire yet. It's about uh, about uh, plus three in here or so. That's fine. Sausage frying, beautiful sunrise, absolutely gorgeous. The birds are fed. I give them some dog food, some cut up garlic sausage, and one piece of bread. I tell you, when that bread's not in there, they seem to look this way. Like, where's the bread? It's pretty funny. But, uh, they finally sat in the tree, all of them, and were staring at the window, and they haven't done that for a long time. And it looks like there's only a... Right now, I can only see two of them. There was five of them at one point. They might have driven them off now. But it's hard to tell right now. Nothing in the trap over there. Well, nothing's been around at all, so... Usually there's all kinds of uh, tracks around the cabin when you get here, but there has been nothing. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's that squirrel. We'll get him later. So we don't need no bait. All we need is the snowshoes. I guess I shouldn't put everything on here. I need the snowshoes out of here. Well, we're getting there, guys. Slowly. Pretty dull day, so hard to follow my trail, but I'm finding them all. Thanks to a fox following uh, my old trail. I can see his tracks, and uh, usually he's right on the trail. But I threw my snowshoes on for this one. It's pretty far in there, and the snow is pretty deep. And I freaking pulled something in my back. I think when I was emptying that big pail, the big pot full of water in the cabin. And it's bugging me today. Some tracks here. Rabbit. Nothing in the box. And I haven't picked up anything yet. Like I said, I don't think this area is very good. But there's nothing wrong with testing an area and seeing. Because I could have this many boxes out all the time and who knows, you pull out 20 Martin, right? Well, let's get used to them anyway. Me and Dave are going to be cutting trail. Maybe those lakes aren't too bad and we can just uh, drive through the whole thing. We'll see. Oh, we're just on a little pond here. Finally got a catch. Nice little area. One of my favorite sets for sure. Alongside of a, a lake, a pond. Seems to be, seems to be uh, always very productive. You can see my flag there. That's where I took the box off. And here's the Martin. Decent size. Finally nice to get at least one. That was a good ride. Except for my freaking lower back sore. Oh, it was nice to get off that sled. Yeah, I figured it would be gone to about one. It's just about one o'clock. 
nice to get off that frickin' sled. Or that sled. Oh man. Alright, I'm just gonna stretch it out my back, feel a little better. I'll try it again in about five minutes. Kind of snack. Games playing in the background. Making a list for me and Dave. Oh, not a bad day out there. On the way back, after the Martin line was pulled there, that's when that wind started to pick up a little bit and and uh, start to get a little more cloudy, a little darker. So it uh, kept good light until I found the last box, and that's all I was asking for. You could see uh, most of the trail, but it was nice to follow that fox who was going, he pretty much did three quarters of the of the Martin line. And occasionally he'd take off so I'd have to go look for uh, the Martin box in the bush and then finally I'd find my trail and see my marker but uh, really nothing crazy. But uh, I'm glad that line is pulled. Wow, what a boring day. One ride today and that was it. I was hoping to go get some wood and maybe bring back those boxes, but my back is still too stiff. Pretty bright out there tonight. Moon is casting shadows on the trees. Crazy bright. And it's bedtime. Jason was just uh, messaging me. It's because I always want to say texting, but I got no cell service here. And uh, he just got to his cap around 20 minutes ago or so. And he says, just unpacking his gear. Sounds like he had a good day. Seemed to catch a bunch of fur today. Finally, uh, he's getting some luck on his end. I just fed the birds. Oh, there they go. Finally, showed up. So this morning they got that little bit of steak that was left over. A hot dog, one piece of bread, and some dog food. Some kibbles. That'll keep them busy for some time. Well, I'm just enjoying a cup of tea and the view. Glad my back feels better today. We'll see how it feels when I get home after the snowmobile ride. One more cup of tea. And I gotta skin that Martin right away. But before I skin the Martin, I will get dressed and go start my machine. And that can warm up when I'm skinning the Martin. Another nice looking pelt. That's a good size. This is CBC Radio 1, 100.9 FM in Thompson. Author and historian Ibram S. Kennedy wants to overcome racism. He says the new. Well, we finally know what was making that hole in front of the cabin here. I always see rabbit tracks go in there. I thought it was spruce hens, but it 
what showed up. So they're uh, digging at the gravel in there. And it's good to see. It's always nice to see uh, something in front of the cabin here.